time to do a quick update video. Today is Sunday, October 18th, and uh, my brother came up here yesterday and helped me, and he took drone footage and other camera footage, whatever, like it was amazing, because we demoed the red barn shed thing or whatever that was up here yesterday, and uh, yeah, we, we got a lot done yesterday, but it was so cool having him here, having his help, and yeah, he got some really good videos, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, today, I'm just gonna be working on taking out more stuff, so the dumpster's almost full, but I have a new one being delivered tomorrow, so um, that way I can put the stuff from the barn in there and then other stumps, which I might need a third one. So I think what I'll do is uh, fill up the second one probably with stumps again, and then uh, hopefully have the driveway kind of done and have them deliver a dumpster up to the top of the lot. And then I'll put everything from the barn and I, um, some of the stumps I've been removing up here, I've just been leaving here for that third dumpster. So um, that's the plan, but things are going really well. The backhoe is amazing, so easy to use, and I'm super comfortable with it. And thankfully, I was kind of practicing doing some grading and stuff yesterday. Um, still, definitely <laughs> some uh, work I need to do there to get it, you know, just smoother and, uh, you know, not, not cut down too much and just, yeah, get the feel for it, basically. Um, but, yeah, so I just want to do a quick update. Uh, thanks again for following along. I'm so excited to be able to share this all with you guys. And, uh, yeah, thanks for all your support and kind words and everything. It really means a lot. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have a driveway here soon. I'm going to try to do a video of me um, digging out one of these stumps. This one is a little bit bigger, so it's probably going to take me a while to dig out, but I'm, I plan to record it, and hopefully you'll be able to see it pretty well once I move the camera around. But um, basically, I have the front bucket down to provide some stability and just safety protection for the machine. I have the parking brake on, and I obviously I have it in neutral. So now I'm going to turn my chair around to dig this out. Um, let me just adjust. I'll turn around first. And again, I'm not an expert at this by any means, but from what I've learned and what I know. Um, and you want to do the downslope one first um, to get you up, and then the upslope one. So now what I'm going to try to do, usually I'll try to tug on this stuff a little bit just to kind of see, you know, if I can get lucky, if it'll it'll be loose and just come right off. This one, um, I have a feeling it's going to take a little digging, so I'll tug on it just to check the other if I'm just going to plan to dig it out. but um, there's definitely a root that I just hit right there, so that's perfect. <laughs> and I kind of do a combination of curling the bucket in, pulling it up, and then this one, which brings kind of the arm in. Thank you. 
Okay, so it looks like I got it. Um, and uh, I'm gonna try to rip it out and try to get it wrapped up in the arm. Um, and I usually like to bulk on at the top of it when I'm trying to tug on it. Um, and so this is gonna be again a combination of tilting the bucket in and bringing the arm in and raising it up. Because there's so many different controls, if you extend it out, technically um, you're like raising it up. So when you're bringing the arm back in, you're lowering it. So you kind of have to use both joysticks on both sides. Okay, so that one worked really well. Um, so what I did is I curled it up on the arm. So now it's actually gonna be pretty easy to dump. Um, and then I pinch it just a little bit. I obviously don't wanna ruin the equipment or you know any of the hydraulic lights or anything like that, but I pinch it just enough so that it'll, it'll ride you know, back down to the dumpster. So um, just make sure that this is up, this is tight, this is tight. Um, and you also wanna drive with the um, arm kinda in the middle, unless if you're somewhere that's on a slope, you can actually tilt it a little bit to put the weight uphill to help put more weight that way away from the way that you're, you would be falling, I should say. I mean, not that you're actually going to tip or anything, but to, to think about it that way. So now I'm going to turn around and we'll go take this to the dumpster. So again, parking brake off. I'm going to take up the front bucket. But you want to drive with it low, so then obviously keep it in gear. And I'm going to go up here to turn around. Oops, forgot to put up the arms. Okay, now I'm going to go turn around. The brakes are not very touchy, so it can be pretty abrupt. Buffiest area down here on the bottom part of my lot. I should have just grade it out, um, but I'm not very good at using the front bucket yet, so I don't know. I just want to try to get all the stems out first and then I'll do this part. And uh, I also had some rocks delivered that I need to fill in some of the low spots, so I'm going to do that. So now I'm at the dumpster and I just want to make sure that I'm close but not oh, too close that I can't use the outrigger arms. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to dump it. So again, front bucket down, parking brake on, so we need to roll. So now again, outrigger arms down. And sometimes I, uh, I try to use these to prop up the machine even more. 
because sometimes getting the clearance over the top of the dumpster can be a little bit tough depending on how the stump is in the arm. So I just kind of ease it up, you know, each side, higher, higher. Because it just gives me a little bit of that added height. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to swing it a little bit, extend it a little bit. This one should be fine the way that I got it in there, but... Turn this around so you can see it. Here's the video of it actually dropping.
beast of a stump back there that I was able to um, dig up pretty easily. Well, it took me a little while, but um, relatively easy, and uh, I got it up in the arm perfectly, so let's go dump it. a slope so I'm just gonna put the weight uphill and I'm gonna put it in first. There's not that many in there, there's only like three or four, so it pretty much fell to the bottom, but that, that's a, a 
another one in there and thankfully I was able to get that one in the arm so it was really easy. I didn't have to chain it up or anything like that. It makes it so much easier when they come up that way. So I don't know if I'm just getting lucky or if I'm getting better at this, but either way, I'm happy with it.